All right, guys. Today I'm gonna be sharing you guys a really nice German flashcard template that you can build one from scratch with automatic audio support. So basically, it's looking like this. So it's gonna show you a German word, either a German word or an English word, and you have to think of what the what would be the meaning of it. If you see the answer. So it's going to be reading the reading the word. It's going to be pronouncing the word uh, even if you didn't really put the audio inside. And it's going to show you the answers. Also like um, the background turns red because it's a feminine word. Uh, if it's a masculine word it turns blue. If it's a neutral word it turns green. Not only the meanings but also you see the articles so uh, for me, when I was learning German, it was really hard for me to keep track of all the articles, what kind of articles should I use. So I um, displayed it like every time when you see any nouns. So if you go to the next word, so this, this seems to be a verb and it shouldn't change any background. Again. Again, again, it reads out um, the word so you can hear the pronunciation and it doesn't change the, the background color because it's just a verb. Sometimes it shows you an English word as well uh, and then you have to think of a German word. Der Laden. Yeah, it turned blue because it's masculine and you can see what kind of articles you should use. Einkaufen. Das Geschäft. Die Antwort. So, basically, you have to fill in these kind of fields in order to make this card. So you have to fill in German word is essential. And if you have, if you know a German plural word, a uh, plural form of German word, then um, I I don't know the plural form of it, but I'm gonna just say Antworten I, I really have no idea, but um Yeah, yeah, anyways, if I if I put put it like this the Antwort. Then it's gonna just show you the plural form right below. So the reason I made it is because Sometimes the plural form is like really different from the word So I had to memorize them and then you set a gender, F for feminine, M for masculine. So it's going to automatically change uh, D to there. And N for neutral. But it's not going to read out the word because there's no das antwort in the audio. In addition to masculine, feminine and neutral, you can also set it to something special like MF which means it can be either masculine or feminine so you see here a really nice gradient effect here and also you can set it to P which means plural the word is a plural form here um, you can put some German audio so you can record it by yourself or you can get get an audio and put it here, but it's not necessary. Again, like um, you can use it if you want to want to put an audio, uh, but it's gonna be automatically find an audio and put it for yourself. So even if you don't Die have Antwort. it, Die Antwort. even if you don't have it, it's gonna read out. And you can also put sample sentence meanings and sentence meanings. Also, uh. Not all of you might be a native English speaker, so you might prefer using your own language. So you can kind of put a reference of Korean meaning or any kind of language here um, if you if you like to. You, you don't really need to do it. Uh, not all of the fields are necessary. The only thing is German word, German gender, 
if it's a noun. If you if you just remove it, it's gonna be like this. And our English meaning, I think that's it. Die Antwort. Anrufen. So I'm gonna show you how to install this template. Um, I'm gonna just remove it in order to show you how to do it. And download these two files. The link is in the description. And one of them is a template. One of them is a deck. Uh, contains five sample words. And another is the mp3 files, the pronunciations of 4719 words. So if if you add any any card, any word, any flashcard that that is in the list of the word, then it's gonna be pronounced. Otherwise it's not gonna be pronounced. So first you want to execute this and then you um if you link it to the Anki, Anki Druid app, it's gonna it's gonna ask you if you want to import it. Uh, you can add it like this, or um, yeah, in Anki Druid, when you when you want to import a deck, then it says we have to move the deck file to certain kind of location, and then and then select from from the list. Oh, you can do either way. I'm gonna just click on it and then import it. Uh, before you before you start, if you don't have any uh, Anki Droid installed, then uh, install it in. This is in a Play Store, and it also supports iPhone, Windows, not as well as Android. So uh, depending on your device, just install it and then import the deck. So it's gonna be import the deck and then there's five cards available now like this. Or you can also remove them if you if you don't want to use it. You can remove it and build from scratch. And the other file is the pronunciation audios. So uh, you want to Export this pronunciation. Choose pass to Anki Droid and Collection Media. So you you want this inside the Collection Media, but I already did this. So there's four thousand and seven hundred audio files here. So I'm not gonna do it again. So this is. This is the end of the installation. You just you just have to um, use the deck. So in order to use the deck, if you want to add new card, just click on add. Click on type to German audio deck by Kiyun. Uh, deck to German audio deck by Kiyun as well. And um, for example, you can put German word, German gender. English meaning uh, something like this then then it's all added and you're gonna see you're gonna see this somewhere yeah here das Auto. there are some known issues for example if you add add a word that that's not containing in the audio list I cannot think of something, so I'm gonna just write anything. Then it's gonna still show you the play button. So it's not gonna pronounce anything, but you still see the button because uh, when I was programming this, I forced to link all the words to a certain audio file, so even if you don't have a uh, don't have the audio file, it's still gonna link it. 
but it doesn't mean that it's gonna be a problem you just see the button but you just have to ignore it and and another issue is don't sync the deck I don't know if it's possible to sync but like in my opinion it's gonna be clumsy which means like we already imported like 4000 words so you don't want to sync it to the server sometimes it's not gonna work well the sync is gonna be slow so I'd rather not sync it but just use it offline well, thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoy my template